Okay. I just want to quickly talk about how basically how to set up these bikes. I've had a few people ask over the last, I guess, four or five weeks. Um, so number one, when you're setting a seat height, it's going to be basically right around the top of your waistband. So that's generally where you're going to want to be. So I'm at a seven here. And then as far as the seat going back and forth, you're going to um, roughly double that number. So I'm at a seven. I could be at a six or, or excuse me, at a three or four, so half the number, excuse me, not double the number. The height will be double the distance back. So I could be on a three or a four here. I've got it set on a four. Is so part of it like a comfort thing as well? Some people might find. Yeah, and here's why that's, that might be the case, is obviously limb length isn't necessarily uniform. So as I set up here, you, you do want to have a sensation that you're leaning slightly forward. So you're never going to be on this thing super upright like a mounty police officer or something like that so you're going to want to have the sensation that you are kind of falling into the handles a little bit hence why excuse me the handles move versus on like a, just a stationary bike where you're leaning forward and just resting here so if you can tell down at the bottom here my legs almost straight but just slightly bent just like you would be if you're sizing yourself for like a normal mountain bike or something like that and then from there again I have a slight lean forward so my chest is falling because of again I have the seat far enough back that I'm gonna give myself that sensation um, outside of that I mean those are really the only things you need to think about try your best to always tighten these things uh, when you get on them whether that's before or after you're sitting on the seat just because I have seen them slip and slide a little bit if you're too rushed with it so just take the extra four or five seconds and try and make sure those things are tight. The other thing with these bikes is, um, like any bike, it's only gonna get harder the harder you work. And that being said, what I don't want you to try and do is compare this to another piece of machinery made by a different company in a different factory with a different monitor. So I know when we first got these, a lot of people were like, well, I can't get nearly as high my wattage or my power output's lower and it's like, you know, you're trying to compare like how far you can throw a baseball and how far you can throw a football. They're not, they're not gonna be the same, so. Just do your best to kind of keep track of the metrics that you have on here. Okay, when I'm working for two minutes, you know, what's, uh, what's my average RPM or what's my wattage? When I'm working for 30 seconds, what's my average RPM or wattage? And over time, we'll ask you guys to do like, you know, one minute max effort, do uh, 50 calories for time, little things like that. So you'll have a better idea of kind of what your work output is on these things, rather than uh, I may be just guessing all the time, so. Oh, uh, it's beach day Saturday. Is there anything you need to go over on the screen? No, I mean, generally speaking, for what we're going to be doing in class, you can just kind of start. So the screen's usually going to look like this. And then if I just start pedaling, it just turns on. So it's going to take two or three seconds, but you don't have to panic. It'd be like, just to try and make it work, because then it's just going to actually turn off again. So you can just jump on, start going and it'll start tracking everything for you.